first you take your web browser, open up your web browser, and uh, in the URL, go to Rockwell Collins and uh, go to their main website. Once you're at their main website, you then go to the login information, which is at the top right hand corner. This brings you to the login page. You, all you have to do is scroll down to the bottom, either create a new account or we should already have a new an existing account to log in there. Enter your existing account information and then log in. Once you log back in, you can bring yourself to it will bring you to the the main uh, home page when you went to rockwellcollins.com go up to the support and services and then over here database and software updates from here you'll, you'll scroll down to flight deck content and then over here on the right hand corner you'll see download databases click that and then this will give you the list of databases that need to be updated. This one particularly is the EMAPs and J6 Americas that we need to download and the yearly update for the uh, EFIS uh, XM uh, port. While you download these separately, make sure that you, uh, you click on each one. So right now it's on the EMAPs. We're going to go click Save. The next thing is which folder do we want to save it in? Well, we're going to create a new folder in our EMAPS folder, which uh, the way that we get to that, we go to the desktop right here, then go to Rockwell Collins. We have an EMAPS folder. Open that up. And then this gives us all of our updates in uh, chronological order. From here, We'll enter, uh, create a new folder, and we'll label it 2012-11-17. That's the day that we're entering uh, all the information. So I put it year, month, and then day. That's very important. We'll open that, save it to this new folder now, and now it will start downloading. I'm going to repeat the process the same for the J6 Americas. I'm going to click on it. The download prompt will should automatically come up. Well, at least it should here. There it is. I'm going to click save. I'm going to go find back to the desktop here. I can click on the desktop, go to Rockwell Collins. This is now the J6 file. So we're going to plug that in. Write up a new folder 2012 11 17. For 2013, it'd be uh, 2013 and 01 and 22 for uh, updates. So 2013, January 22nd. But uh, this way it keeps everything nice in order uh, if you stay to that format. We'll go here, we'll save it, and the download will automatically start. The next thing we have to do is pull up our Jepson Service Manager, which is down here. This will allow us to download the current version of the Jep charts. This will be the third and final file that we have to download uh, on a regular update. And once we double click on the Jepson Service Update, that was the the login information that uh, that came up and um, we won't upgrade this right now but we should uh, let's see here and then we have our ProLine uh, 21 charts uh, this is the cycle date is November 9th 2012 and this is cycle number 23 so we'll download those as well So come down here to start. This pops up. It's asking where do we want to download these. All we have to do is select 
the right, we'll start over here. All we have to do is hit browse and then we'll add them to the Jepson downloads and that's all we have to do, hit OK. And now we'll hit continue and now it should be downloading. We can verify it here, downloading 0%. And now that the J6 Americas file has been downloaded, we can extract it. So I'm going to minimize all these. Our eMaps are still downloading. I'm going to minimize the browser. Well, and then uh, come back, uh, start back here at the desktop. We come over here to our Rockwell Collins folder. Open that up. We can go to J6 Americas. Come down and find our file which is 2012-11-17 and double click this. We want to make sure that we run the file. This is basically we're installing it but it's asking us now where to install it. This is one of the most important steps making sure that we install it to the right folder. So this is asking where are we going to select it so we're going to pull it from, from the list. Look down here at Rockwell Collins this is the J6 file and then make sure that we pick this the right date 2012-11-17 you know, open that now we can hit unzip 30 files were extracted and now they are in the appropriate folder if we choose any other folder or the desktop each there's going to be 30 files scattered all over the place, so it's important to extract it to the right folder. We're now in the King Air, and um, we can verify that uh, the active database is out of date. Our secondary database is expired as well. We can come down here. Uh, it's important to have everything booted up in the King Air, otherwise um, this will be, you won't be able to do this. Also, the cable that you need looks like a Cat5 cable, but you need to be absolutely sure that it's a crossover cable. It's very similar to an Ethernet cable, uh, but it needs to be a crossover cable. If it's anything different, none of this will work, so this is very important. You plug it into the EFIS um, data loader. You bring this maintenance switch up to enable and then FMS uh, EFIS data. Uh, that's what should be in the right place right there. Now the last, uh, now that the EMAPs have done been done downloading, we have to go into our Rockwell Collins folder, EMAPs folder, 2012-11-17. Double click this, hit run, Say just hit OK. Now same thing like the J6 says, we have to go in and find the folder to extract all this material to. Emaps 2012-11-17. Unzip. There we go. Okay, great. So now that all these files have unzipped, we've got we've downloaded our Jepson charts our East EMAPs and uh, J6 Americas. Now we load the CPAS 3000 launch pad over here. First we have to import the databases that we just downloaded into the software. So we click manage data software. Double click it. Now you're going to say import. It's going to start searching for all the databases. Now along here is all the databases that we've ever downloaded so it's important to find the the correct one here's emaps 12 uh, 12 expires December 12 2012 we want that one our emaps or excuse me our J6 Americas uh, looks like it's uh, should be this one right here. It's December expires December 12, 2012. That one's 
J6s are a little bit hard to find, they're out of order. And then our Jepson disc that we want to install uh, is Jepson disc 23 2012. So you have to go through and find the correct uh, update. So we've collect, import, or selected all three of the new databases that we downloaded. It imports it one, two, and uh, should be three. Okay, great. Now we're done. We can go back in the airplane. We've already set ourselves up uh, to hook up our crossover cable, and uh, now we just have to hook up the computer and upload the databases. Okay, we take our crossover cable, which is hooked up to the flight deck that we hooked up earlier. We take the crossover cable, flip the computer around, and in the back here, we plug it into the Ethernet connection. Clicks, should light up just like this. Should uh, That light should blink every once in a while, which is good. Means we have a good connection. And now we can come over here, close that out in the CPAS. Come over to data load. Now this will uh, be the, the terminal where we enter um, our databases into the, the airplane. So first thing we do is when this screen pops up, hit refresh targets. What this is doing is it's looking and trying to communicate with the airplane which terminals are available and ready for uh, upload. So it's still thinking here. Once this is done, we'll continue on. Okay, the targets have now been refreshed. We click that. We can come over here to this drop-down menu and see that we have FMC1, FMC3, an FSU, an MDC, and a node. So we'll come over here, FMC1, and we're going to select our database that we want. Uh, the J6 Americas expires December 12th, 2012. We'll select that and we'll start beginning our load. This basically right now the data is being transferred from the computer to the airplane. We'll start to see all of the, the data fields transfer. We'll have an overall progress and um, uh, as, as we go along here. All right, our first load just finished. Now we can come in and find our second load. We come down to FSU and uh, data select this this one right here. We have our EMAPs, and we can select the EMAPs that expire on December 12, 2012, and begin the load there. That starts once again. Uh, you can see that we have the overall progress and then here's the files that are being uploaded. Okay, our second load is done now. We can uh, come back down, select the FSU unit once again, find our JEP charts subscription and cycle 23 for 2012, and begin the load. After this one is completed, we would have successfully updated all three of the files in uh, which were the EMAPs, J6 Americas, and Jepson charts. So we should have current uh, approach plates, uh, MFD maps, as well as uh, navigational databases in the airplane. And um, there's a, just a few more steps to verify that all this is complete. And uh, then you should be ready to fly. The last thing to do to update the database is now come back to your FMS unit. You see that the active database is expired. Our new database, 15 November to 12 December, has loaded. All we have to do is line select that, bring it up to the active database, and now we have uh, a current navigation database for the J6 Americas. We can also come up, hit the stat button, right below our uh, FMS. Come back up and verify that all of our uh, charts are current and that is a successful update for the ProLine 21.